oxtails. There's something about oxtails that make them so unique. There's no other cut of beef that has the same texture or tenderness. However, they do have to be cooked in a certain way in order for them to be worth your money. There's a reason why oxtails are an expensive cut nowadays, even though it used to be a cheap throwaway cut. If you're looking for a cooking technique to make your oxtails fall off the bone and melt in your mouth, then keep on watching. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alice I'm with the baby and our channel is all about living a healthy and sustainable lower carb lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my cooking technique for oxtails that is perfect for your keto, carnivore or animal based diet. Even if you are not on any sort of diet, you will appreciate the cooking technique that I'm sharing with you today. Oxtail, otherwise known as cow's tail, has a ton of connective tissue, which turns into a rich gelatinous meat once it's cooked. It's incredibly rich in collagen, which is a vital protein for growth and repair. They are very fatty. The fat to protein ratio is over 70%, and this is a perfect energy source for anyone on a ketogenic, animal-based, or carnivore diet. So if you're doing two meals a day or one meal a day, this recipe is perfect for you. Because oxtails are so high in collagen and gelatin, it has to be slow cooked in order for the meat to be tender and fall off the bone. I'm gonna be cooking this in my oven today, but it is possible to cook this in the slow cooker or the pressure cooker as well. Now back in the old days, oxtails used to be considered a cheap cut or a throwaway cut, but nowadays the prices have skyrocketed, making this very much a fancy cut. Now, oxtails are very popular in the Caribbean, Jamaican, and Korean cultures. My video today is more of a basic cooking method that allows for the oxtails to fall apart and off the bone. This is very similar to our beef ribs recipe. This is such a decadent and rich cut that it can just be eaten with basic seasonings. This makes it perfect for the carnivore diet. However, if you wanna dress it up with more flavor, feel free to add whatever spices or flavors that you like. So I have about two pounds of oxtail. You can see that every piece is a different size and we have some of the smaller pieces on this side. The smaller pieces are the end of the tail and the larger pieces are the base of the tail. My Costco started selling oxtails last year and after searching high and low throughout my city, I realized that Costco just has the best prices, just like they do for everything else. This portion right here was about $20 Canadian or so, and it's gonna be enough for my husband and I for dinner with some leftovers. Now I have just washed these oxtails and tried to move as much blood and bone chips as possible. And I did let them soak in some cold water for the past hour or so. The purpose of doing that was just so we get a more pure flavor. For seasoning today, we are going to be using salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now the first step is to preheat your oven to 300 degrees. I am going to brown my oxtails on the stovetop so they develop that beautiful brown crusty color before going into the oven. So for my seasonings, I'm going to use about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of salt. It is quite a bit of meat here. Just make sure you salt generously to taste. Now it's up to you whether you wanna cook some of these smaller pieces. Usually a pack of oxtails will contain some of the smaller pieces or the tail end of the tail. If you want, you can save some of the smaller pieces for bone broth. I actually just prefer throwing it all together in there. There is still meat on them and it comes out super tender and tasty as well. Next we have black pepper. Next is garlic powder. and onion powder. So I am going to brown these oxtails on the stovetop just to get that nice brown crusty color on the outside. So let's go over to my stove. Now that the meat's developed a nice brown crusty color, you can see here, looks and smells amazing. My 13 inch baking sheet here that I've lined with foil and a little bit of parchment on the inside. The parchment just helps to keep the meat from sticking. 
now I'm just gonna lay down all my pieces. Already smells so, so good. I am gonna throw in a couple cloves of fresh garlic and basically let the garlic steam and permeate the meat for additional flavor. Now what we want to do here is make sure that the meat is fully sealed in the foil so that it cooks in its own heat and steam. Make sure that the edges are completely tight, that there's no air able to escape or get in. I'm going to use another sheet just in case. Now this will go into my 300 degree oven for three hours. Okay, my oxtails have been in the oven for three hours. I just took it out and let it rest on the counter. I can actually still hear them sizzling on the inside, so I'm super, super excited to see what's underneath this. It's still really hot, so I have to be careful not to burn my fingers. Ooh, look at that steam. Oh my goodness. The dark brown caramel color on these oxtails, it looks extraordinary. It's just, you can see all of the fat has just rendered out. It's very soft. I don't even want to go at it too hard with these tongs because I'm worried that the meat's just going to fall right off. I can smell the flavors of the garlic. They've definitely infused all of the meat. It is just so, look at that one. Off. The meat has completely caramelized, which is exactly what we want. With this low and slow cooking technique, this is what you get. This is like meat candy. Now I'm gonna transfer these over to a serving platter and we're gonna do a taste test. See here that the meat just falls right off the bone. It's so tender, it just pulls beautifully. I'm gonna go in for this bite. It's like meat candy. It just melts right in your mouth. This is very sticky and gelatinous. The meat has completely caramelized. There is just something so different about oxtails. There is no other kind of beef that can mimic the same flavor. It's got that perfect balance of chewiness to tenderness to flavor, the incredibly flavorful kind of meat. The spices that we used really came through. Now I know it wasn't that much, but you really don't need a ton because this is such a rich cut of meat. Bone-in meats are actually highly recommended for pregnant women because they contain such high amounts of nutrients, collagen, and gelatin. If you liked my video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really allows us to reach out and help as many people as possible. Leave me a comment down below of whether you've tried oxtails before and what your favorite ways are to eat it. Until next time, 